But basically, um, what you guys, I guess, know is that I only came in last year, and I was just like a little concerned whether or not I'll be the right fit as present. So basically, I just wanted to let you guys know as to why this club means a lot to me, and I'm gonna try my best to present. So I kind of have a lot of qualifications from high school, like even middle school. Huh? Uh, what do you call it? From high school uh, and everything, but I don't think you guys really care about that because I mean it comes like pretty toe to toe with my list of allergies right there. <laughs> so, like, I'm, I'm qualified. Like, no, I'm You'd be surprised. So basically, what I want you guys to do. When I was born, I was raised by my, my Lola from my mom's side, and obviously she's Filipino, so I've I've been Filipino like since the day I was born. I didn't know I was Peruvian until I was like five. I, thought, <laughs> I literally thought if we were Native American, my dad said, no, I'm just like, everything's gonna lie. <laughs> so basically, I was raised Filipino. I went to my family once or twice a week, at least, for like any sort of celebration that you can think of. Like, oh, I gotta be on my report card day, let's go have a cake with everyone. <laughs> um, so you know, like you have karaoke, Christmas, going to church together and everything. Like my, I was, I was basically, you know, Filipino. That was my life. Um, until 2007 when... Well, I'm president. Long story short, a uh, family feud kind of tore my family apart. Uh, wow. Once or twice a week, once or once or twice a year. <sighs> Man, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, yeah. and then, we love you! In 2010, my grandma left. that I was like built on was gone for me so I kind of you know I went through school I went to a really white neighborhood so I was accepted there because I was a weird brown girl I got AIDS and everything um I went to high school which was a little better still right down the street uh I did meet Filipino friends there which really did help me but at the same time it wasn't as much as I thought it would be and then I went to college a few blocks away where science helped me a lot but there was still something missing. And I didn't know why. I thought it was my family. So I just didn't know what was going on. Um, so due to like also financials, I had to transfer. And I transferred to Hunter. And a little bird who I went to high school with by the name of Kanasi told me that since I went to Hunter, that I had to, had to, had to, had to join Pup. So, oh, oh, <laughs> um, so I joined Po, and luckily I was elected to become. Keep talking. I was elected to become transfer rep, um, which is something I really did not expect that I would get. And basically, I was I got to see all the behind the work stuff for everything that goes on, how much work e board puts into it, and also how much people really care about Po and want to be there. So like through bomb ass workshops, through cake, uh, bake sales with slutty brownies, through <laughs> cheering on Mr. and Ms. P.I., uh, we, I could see that, um, what do you call it, we really were a family. And that, um, not just because you guys are obviously Filipino, that's why we're all here, but I think that um, I was just always kind of wondering where I was supposed to, <laughs> where I was supposed to fit in. <laughs> because you know we make her feel good but honestly <laughs> I think that in reality the reason why all the other stuff didn't work out for me and why Poe did is because through being part of eboard and trying to do my best to make sure that everyone here felt welcome and accepted I found purpose in I felt purpose in making this place so you guys like you know, eating anything for me you my rock though <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so what do you call it? So that's basically what I want to try to do for you guys as president. So obviously I want to maintain not just the number we have and the members that we have, but I definitely want to go out there and try to recruit people as much as we can. Uh, not people who are just Filipino, but people who are interested in Filipino culture. People who just want to be in a community that's very welcoming and that we can have a good time. And I also want to fortify the bonds that we already have. Through events, I really want to try to have, you know, 
at least monthly dinners with each other, study sessions, like just hanging out all in general. So we have someone to fall back onto, and then eventually we'll conquer the world. So basically, we're not unacceptable, but I think that through all the other events, we will become awesome. Yeah. 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 We have Beyonce yeah. as like a star. We're not gonna get our hopes up because, all right, guys, we'll all live with it. <laughs> so that's what I hopefully want to do for you guys is like uh, for the Philippine peoples of Hunter because oh. Because why? Because I love you guys. <laughs> and I just want to make sure that you guys, guys, I mean, president is a really big title. That's why I try to like, I guess, like the title being Lola, because just like how my Lola raised me and like instilled values and gave me a place to come home to and find comfort in, I want you guys to have Paul be that for you. So like no matter what, you guys can always know that we have your back. So we can also stand for Amelia.